both incredibly powerful and equally provocative, the idea of indifference in Stoicism can be greatly valuable in how we live our lives, and in this video, we're going to understand why. When many hear the term of indifference, they immediately think of people who are apathetic, which is what makes it seem a provocative idea to push forward as positive. However, indifference in Stoicism is about the acceptance of what may come in life, good and bad, and acting in accordance to the situation in the most effective way possible. So let's explore the idea of indifference in Stoicism, and understand how it can influence our lives. Indifference in Stoicism Stoic philosophy is heavily centred on the principal ideas of logic and reasoning. This means, while it acknowledges we all feel emotions in life, and this can make us feel positively or negatively to a given situation, our ability to reason can trump these emotions. This is fundamental in having a sense of indifference, almost detachment, to a particular situation giving you a chance to view it through a lens of objectivity, helping to deal with the situation in the most effective way. The foundations of this logic is also based around the concept of the natural order of things. In Stoicism, there is an acceptance that in life, there will be times of misfortune, which when accepted means our reaction to them can be more reasoned. This view of life isn't limited to Stoicism with many of the philosophical schools of thought also believing in similar ideas, such as in Hinduism and Buddhism, which has the infamous quote, life is suffering, whereby there's an acceptance of suffering of some kind in all walks of life. Control versus No Control So, with the idea that we base our behaviour in life on logic and reason, and that we accept that we're going to be faced with challenges in life, how do we apply this to the idea of indifference? Well, Stoics, especially in the case of Marcus Aurelius as written in Meditations, often believe that we need to focus on elements in life that we can control, rather than those we can't. Say for example you're working on a project with a team, and one of the team members fails to complete a task. Either you can choose to focus efforts on the team member not having completed their task, something that you can't control and in this instance has already gone, or you can choose to focus on what can be done to get the task complete and progress forward. Obviously, the more productive area to choose to focus is the latter, which is what you can control. Choosing to focus on what you can control is beneficial in multiple ways, as not only is it more practical and productive, but it's beneficial to your mental health and outlook. This is because you grow your internal locus of control, which helps you feel more confident, and having a greater locus of control has been found to improve your ability or chances to succeed at given endeavours. Focus on reality now that we've covered the principles of indifference and choose to focus on what we have control over, we need to make sure we have the mindset in preparation of all obstacles. You see, as mentioned before, there is a need of acceptance that we will come across circumstances that wouldn't adhere to what we hope for, and it's important to be mindful of this, as not doing so means you're unprepared for it, and when it hits, the emotions you feel in the heat of the moment may take a hold of you. Marcus Aurelius, as someone who's held a high leadership position, often had to face people who were challenging to deal with. Therefore, he'd begin his day telling himself, Today, I shall be meeting with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness. It's not that he had a negative outlook, but rather he accepted the reality of what he'd face, understanding human nature. Therefore, he'd be mentally prepared to face these challenges, but at the same time, maintain a mindset to deal with them in the best way possible. Examples of Indifference Marcus Aurelius is already an example mentioned of someone who practiced this concept of indifference, but in reality, we see it's quite prevalent amongst many successful people in today's world. For example, entrepreneurs like Gary Vaynerchuk and Tony Robbins often maintain a stance that we need to be proactive and take high levels of action on those things we can act on, such as on social media, creating high quality engaging content. 
They understand that they may face problems, but at the same time, focus on what they can control. Other examples include Kobe Bryant, who was known for his extreme levels of discipline when training, maintaining his focus on those things in his game that he could control and improve in, whereas not letting the failures or difficulties deter him. Applying Indifference Now that we have an understanding about the idea of indifference, why should you apply this into your life? Well, as previously discussed, with the idea of indifference focusing in on what we can control in life, we naturally develop our locus of control. With this building confidence within us, not just in terms of being able to take action, but to do so in a successful manner, we see a build up of momentum as we progress. However, having indifference as discussed serves multiple functions, as more than anything, our judgement and decisions aren't clouded by feelings towards a given situation. Objectivity is critical in life, especially when viewing circumstances that might be triggering in terms of emotional response. Doing so allows you to ensure you're focused on what's necessary for a more productive and positive output, and applying the stoic concept of indifference, accepting what happens whether it's good or bad, is a great way to maintain a level of objectivity when dealing with what life throws at you. Are you aware of the stoic ideas of indifference? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.